जी माधवन नायर जी नमस्कार थैंक यू वेरी वेरी मच फॉर स्पीकिंग CNN News 18. So this Gaganyaan uh, test launch, which is going to happen, how significant is it? And can you please explain to us what's the reason why this is being done? Why it is important to be done? Uh, you know, the objective of the Gaganyaan is to carry three astronauts to the orbit and uh, their safe return to the ground after the mission completion. Uh, so the safe return is something which is very very important. Uh, so the crew, while the rocket is going up, or any phase of the launch, uh, there can be encounter. There can encounter some problem or other. Uh, there is a fine chance of such problems with you know, the previous flights of Apollo and other things. It's very much visible. So to ensure the safety of the crew is the most important aspect, and that is the element which is being tested out uh, in the launch, which is scheduled for day after tomorrow. Uh, here, actually, the crew module with the escape system is assembled on a test rocket. Uh, it's not the real uh, launch vehicle which is going to take that, but a vehicle which is configured using the same engine as what is being used in the uh, the GSLV Mark III. So you know there is a proven engine which is being put there, and it will be taken to an altitude of about ten kilometers or so, and crossing the Mach one. Uh, that is, you know, the transonic region is where you know it experiences maximum disturbance in terms of vibration, shock, acceleration, and all those things. So that phase will be over. So one can ma- monitor the conditions inside this, uh, the capsule. Then afterwards, while it is thrusting itself, how the capsule can be separated and taken to a safe trajectory to land in the sea. So this is the mission objective. So to demonstrate. The crew escape system, in case of an eventuality, is something which is planned in this mission. How is it different, or uh, are we taking any learnings from uh, other manned missions by other nations? So, uh, say an Apollo or or some of the other missions that have been taken, where manned missions go into space and then they come back. There's a re-entry that happens. So, are we taking some of those learnings, or are we trying to do something different? From what some of the other nations have been able to do. Uh, well, certainly the Apollo missions, uh, they have taken a lot of risk. Uh, the vehicles, uh, the launch vehicle was in the development of Saturn. Vehicle was being tested out, and so on. But still, uh, Kennedy has uh, President Kennedy has uh, announced that we should plan on the moon. So they took a lot of risk in going with a sort of an unproven system uh, to accomplish the mission. But it was successful. In the overall program of about 16 missions or so, there were hardly two failures. But two failures is big number uh, when you talk about this uh, overall program. So ISO cannot afford to do that. So that's why ISO set a goal. First, let's ensure the safety. Safety can come from various. First, make the launch vehicle reliable. Test it out number of times and build in additional margins. Design margin designs can be improved and redundancy can be implemented and onboard monitoring uh, to forecast eventual any problem which can occur uh, and then take action. This kind of uh, escape system has come in the much later flights of Apollo and uh, in the Soyuz as well. Uh, but in the initial phases, they didn't have it. So naturally, we have benefited out of their experiences and that, that concept is being adopted. But the technology for that is a homegrown. It is so has to toil to develop this. And earlier they have uh, demonstrated this at a very low altitude. And now it is going to be uh, crossing the Mac 1 region. But there is also the challenge. One is the challenge is to reach up to 10 kilometers. So as you're lifting off and then the in, but even the redirection or re entry. There is a huge amount of burn and uh, friction with the atmosphere that will be caused a great amount of heat that will be generated. So will that also come into play? Will that also be tested whether the aircraft uh, well, uh, can withstand it? You are, you are correct. Actually, we will have a lot of heat generated during the re-entry of the capsule. And that is one of the big challenges in design of the, uh, the crew module itself. Uh, that, of course, is going on parallelly. Uh, but here, we will not be achieving the orbital velocity. Velocity, what is going to be achieved is around uh, 1.2 kilometer per second or so. Whereas in the orbit, we encounter something like 7.5 kilometer per second. 
with that velocity when it turns almost everything will burn up of course we have wetted our hands in this earlier in the spacecraft recovery module experiment so there you know we have brought a live spacecraft from 500 km altium down to the sea and uh, that is something which was uh, demonstrated and we had some elements of technology demonstrated from that and that this uh, knowledge is being utilized for uh, designing the thermal protection system so thermal protection system per se will not be proven in this whereas the acoustic protection the how the shock bounds and uh, how the comfort level of the crew is ensured etc will come out because we have uh, crossing the transonic region and uh, afterwards uh, it is uh, the rocket which has to pull it out uh, do the thrust phase and throw it in a trajectory which will ensure that uh, safe landing on the sea initially it will be a free fall but later a set of parachutes will be opened and that parachutes will reduce the velocity to uh, maybe a few meters per second and then uh, something like a soft touch down will take place and when it touches down on the sea surface uh, there will be floats which will be activated automatically and then the entire system will be floating in the sea and it has to be picked up from there Uh, so that's the kind of mission which will that part of the mission is going to be demonstrated in space is this the first of many test flights uh, mr madhavan nair and uh, th- for this test flight what do you think will be perhaps the biggest tick mark or the biggest success that uh, isro will actually be looking for to achieve uh, well one thing is uh, the on board computer system and the software to monitor the performance and uh, to take real time decisions on uh, that sun part the second part as i mentioned earlier is uh, the environment inside the crew module but the third will be the physical process of recovery of course when you are coming from the orbit also uh, when it uh, enters atmosphere around 100 km onwards the heating is there uh, but then you know because of the aerodynamic uh, heating itself it will slow down uh, to a reasonable thing and then later thrusters will be fired and uh, when it reaches around 10 kilometers it will have more or less similar speed as what we are going to do now so in the last phase of touchdown is what is going to be demonstrated in this uh, mission you think this is uh, happening because there is a lot of support that's coming in from the government that there is an acceleration there seems to be an acceleration in our space program uh, in the recent years Uh, do you think there is a perhaps a mix of not just scientific and technological innovation and improvement but also certain amount of encouragement and political will my final question sir uh certainly i i think uh, i am reminded uh, i was really excited to hear the statement from the prime minister that day uh it reminds me of the days uh, of uh, 60s when president kennedy made this announcement to the us but he made only a small step that is go to moon but here our prime minister has set a goal not only moon a space station and even the mission to mars and so on so he has given a tremendous boost to the space program uh, probably i will say that this is the third vision for isro which is given the first vision given by dr sarabhai then the second vision of course uh, i was part of that we have given in the uh, 2010 time frame and that is being implemented now even before completing that he has given the third vision which is super and uh, it is going to really ignite the entire space program and the space activities and the technology development in the country it is going to be the major driver of technology development for the nation thank you very much for your time sir i look forward to speaking with you again post the test launch and let's hope we have achieved and we achieve all the parameters that we set out to and it's a successful test for all of us as a nation and for the scientists of isro thank you very much sir i wish you the team isro a grand success in this mission as well thank you thank you sir